welcome back everyone. I'm on my way to Winnipeg today. Uh, I'm looking at picking up my new boat. So stay tuned, hopefully that things go well. Um, we'll see how much I'm actually recording while I'm in there, but yeah, hopefully we'll get to check it out, take it home. All right, stay tuned. Now, I did what a lot of people do when buying a boat. I financed part of it. I paid a deposit and the bill of sale showed that I had a balance remaining. Now, I got a call from the finance company in Toronto and they said I got approved after filling out all the proper information. But it was projected for me to pay double what I valued at the boat. In $1,500 in hidden fees and 12.6% interest, that was a big no thank you. So, we scheduled for me to come over to Winnipeg on the 12th of July for me to pick it up. So I went another way with the financing and once I got to the boat dealer, they realized that it was still at a mechanic and nobody bothered to tell me. I guess the boat was having problems getting up to speed. They ordered a carburetor kit some spark plugs and they were going to deliver the boat because of all the inconvenience that I had. But after no communication that day came and left. I got the call, the boat was ready and my mom was in the city to pick it up. So she brought it out to me and after two days of modifying, fixing, cleaning, the boat was ready for Lake of the Woods. After I backed it up into the launch at Kenora, got it up to speed, the motor died. So, I took it back to the campsite, found out two-year-old fuel in the tank. The hose was plugged, the filter was all gummed up, and some sea foam and some fresh fuel, but was good to go. So, the boat dealer called me back and they offered me a job after I told them about what I did to get the boat running. I'm just here at Lake of the Woods, and uh, here, let's see. This is my new Lund Rebel 1650. It's got a 64 stroke on it. And yesterday was the first time I took it out, and we had some bit of motor problems in the, in the beginning. It wasn't running right. Here at the helm, we got just my uh, Striker 4 from Garmin hooked up. And then at the front, I got a uh, Minkota Power Drive 50 pound thrust. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty excited. It was kind of a gong show trying to get it. Uh, a lot of problems with the dealership and financing and all that. I did go through a dealership, but yeah, I had a bit of problems. give you a rundown of the boat real quick starting at the front we got the trolling motor I got the foot panel right here 
this hatch here, I got a battery, life jacket, anchor. This one I got more life jackets. This morning we had a problem with life jackets. That blew up. Got a seat stash right there, a tripod. This is my tackle. After we put the gas shock in. And then, uh, as you can see, we have locking latches. We put all that in the other day, Corey and I. Got it over here. Got the, the sonar. All the switches. Here's the live well. Move to the back. Battery, bumpers, another, another seat. Into the back there, you got a fuel tank. So yeah, it's uh, it's actually pretty sweet. I'm liking this. So we're gonna hopefully have a lot of videos coming up here soon with this thing and uh, a lot of fish being caught. Let's go and find some fish. Look at that! That's better. Get him back in the water. Sweet! Yeah! Just crush the eyeball with the 13 fishing. Crush it. 